my, my garbage is gonna get full. It's called fridge stories, not garbage stories. So we'll save that for another time. Hi, I'm Chef King. I'm the chef and owner of Kuma Inn Restaurant on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. And this is my fridge story. There's probably more good stuff than bad stuff. Okay, what does my fridge say about me? I love beverages. I, <laughs> I love all kinds of beverages, alcoholic and non-alcoholic. Okay, so let's just get that straight. So that's why I think two of my shelves are just dedicated to all kinds of beverages. My favorite thing, you know, it, right now, I mean, I would just crack one of these open. A Lagunitas, a daytime, daytime IPA. It is the daytime. You know what's my favorite and I always keep it in here is Spam. <laughs> I love Spam. You know, if you know me, you know I love Spam. Spam fried rice, Spam with noodles, Spam an egg, Spam sandwich, Spam, uh, yeah, Spam anything. I'm old school, traditional Spam. You know, not the low salt, not the teriyaki, not the barbecue, uh, not the Tabasco, Spam. Just regular Spam. And then you could hook it up any way you want after that. Okay, I'm on the spot again because I, there's one thing, I can name a couple of things I know I go to the most. The, uh, my Small Axe Peppers hot sauce. I love hot sauce. Our company is called Small Axe Peppers and we donate pepper seeds to community gardens uh, throughout the country. Specifically, we start in the Bronx. So we started with five gardens in the Bronx like seven years ago. Gave them a bunch of seeds, Serrano pepper seeds. They grew the seeds and then we buy the peppers back from the gardens when they're grown. And then we make this hot sauce. If there's a secret ingredient you think I should put in the next hot sauce, let us know in the comments below. And of course, you know, when you get hungry and you can't find anything to eat, what do you eat? Batteries. <laughs> batteries, you gotta have batteries in the fridge. I think everything else is food though, I think. I love fermented items. So that's the whole point. Fermented items don't get expired. You know, of course, kimchi, sauerkraut, more kimchi. I pickle my own stuff too. I have pickled onions. Oh, I bet you this is expired. Uh, yogurt, that's expired. So let's say goodbye. What's next? Favorites, favorites. This is my favorite fish sauce actually, is this one. I call it Golden Boy. I don't even know the official name. That's the Golden Boy. That's the Golden Boy fish sauce. Oh, my favorite mayo, of course. Ba bang So Cupy comes in this, uh, it has like this lattice label. It's like clear, there's a little baby on it also. Like the, the, the condiments with the babies on it are usually good. There's like a little baby on here, but when you peel the plastic off, the whole thing comes off. So it's just like this uh, clear tube of white stuff with a red cap in the fridge, but it's cute. -y. For those who know, you know. And if you don't know, now you know. Fermented, let's see. Oh, we got kimchi. We have sauerkraut. Miso is this fermented soybean paste. And these are some chilies that I have fermenting. Pickles and cornichons, you know. This is another uh, red pepper sauce that's fermented. This hot sauce is fermented. And beer is a fermentation process. There you go. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plus the beverages, but ten condiments that I'll cook with. I, I have to have lemons and limes all the time, but I know there's no lemon, lemons and limes in here. If there are, they're probably moldy as shit. Let's see what we got. Okay. Oh, I have blueberry, blueberries for sure. These are good. Oh, look. Lemon, ba pow I told you, always gotta have lemon in the fridge, always. I love, you know, to balance the flavors and lemon, I love the acidity of lemon. Oh look, and I have a lime that's, it looks sh on the outside, it's, yeah, it's green. You see how green that is? No, it's not, it's brown, it's like, it's like, it's brown. Uh, but I could still use that. I, I hate throwing away food. I, there's still juice in there. If you don't see this in my fridge, shoot me, cause it's not me, it's rice. Rice is life, you gotta have rice, right? So I got rice in the fridge. I can make a Spam and egg fried rice with Napa cabbage. How does that sound? I think we got all the ingredients for serious Spam fried rice. It's one of those things that you're scared because you've never had it before. So what I tell my kids and I tell other people too, like, you know, you, you gotta try it first before you say you don't like it, right? It's po it got popular in Southeast Asia because of the war. So the American soldiers had a can of Spam in their backpack and you don't have to refrigerate it. That's the beauty about it, it has this tremendously long shelf life. It's shelf stable, no refrigeration necessary. So this carbon steel is getting hot. So let's go with this. See, I love that sound, that sizzle. Cabbage. And now we're gonna throw some rice in there. 
Here's our egg. Now let's sauce it up, right? Add a little fish sauce, a little oyster, a little bit of soy, a lot of bit of soy, but that's okay. This is fridge stories, right? Freezers included. Look at this. I have some frozen peas. So we get a few peas in there. There we go. A little shrimp paste. Almost there. It's ready to plate. We're not done yet because this is fridge story. I want to use what we have in the fridge. Kewpie mayo. Our crunchy chili oil with the fermented black beans. I love these. I call them sprinkles. Savory sprinkles. These are furikake. Like little seaweed, little toasted rice. Adds a little crunch. Okay, it's hot. Oh man. <laughs> it's good. I'm not kidding, it's good. There's Spam in there, so it gives that nice savory, salty, kind of all comes together. And then you have the Napa cabbage too, so a little crunch, good stuff. Wow, that's a good, there'd probably be, well, let's see, that's an interesting question. <laughs> oh, look at that, all the way in the back. More fermented stuff. Now it's 11, right? This is miso paste. I see a jar of my pickles that I made that are all the way back there. This was like Christmas, pre-COVID. <laughs> but they're pickles, so they're still good. I learned that, uh, you know, there's some stuff expired, but it's not that bad. That's, you know, it's, that's, a, that's a good thing. My wife will let me know when something goes bad, but she's not here, so that's good. Because I like to age things sometimes in my fridge, like I age steaks, I ferment stuff. So sometimes, you know, when you open the fridge, you're like, woo! <laughs> it doesn't mean something's expired, it's just something's going on in there. Let us know whose fridge you'd like to check out next in the comments below. Also, please subscribe to The Spruce Eats and check out smallaxpeppers.com.